first, something that's been talked about a little bit recently and something actually over the last few days has been a, a fair amount about a video game. Is video, is, is video game the right thing to say yes, these days? Yes, yeah, it's a video game computer game. People think of it as video. Or do they just think of it as gaming? It's gaming, yeah, but you gaming. can still, yeah. Gaming. So there is a game, and what is it called, Morning Man? It's called Fortnite. All right, so it's been causing quite a lot of concern. Um, a lot of people seem to be playing it, particularly uh, younger people. Um, the game is 12 years or over restriction, yep. is that right? 12 plus. So what we thought we'd do is we'd actually get someone on uh, who plays it. Uh, we're off to Shamley Green this morning. Uh, George is 12, so it is okay for him to be playing it. You like Fortnite, George, don't you? Yeah, I love it. It's really good. So, and welcome, by the way. Nice to have you on this morning, sir. Um, I think we're going to talk to your mum in a minute as well. But um, So, listen, George, as far as you're concerned, uh, if, you, if you were allowed, would you be, like, sort of playing Fortnite, uh, like, the whole time? Yes, yeah, because it's, like, so fun and addictive. <laughs> right. The addictive thing's interesting. Mm. So how often do you spend, would you say, playing? Oh, um... Probably like three to four hours a night, maybe. Like maybe a bit more. Three, three to four hours a night. Maybe, maybe two or something. Maybe know. two. Yeah. Oh. Because he knows that mum's so, listening. So what is it? Tell, tell us, yeah. that, for someone like me, George, you and I'm not familiar with this game at all. So what, what is it? What do you do? Um. So basically, you're in a P PVP player. So there's a hundred people in um, a lobby, right? Um, and what you do is you drop down into a map and you collect mm -hmm. guns and you have to try and fight other players to get to the victory spot. Right. I and see. It, and, and then that's it, is it? And Yeah, that's pretty much it. And do you t tell me, uh, George, as well, I mean, is this something that you just uh, play on your own or do you network up with other people or how does that all uh, work? You can play, so there's solos, duos and squads. So you can play with a four people, two people, or one person. Usually mm. I'm the one who plays solos, but right. sometimes mm. I play duos or squads on the often occasion. Okay. And is it free to play, George? Uh, this is a free game, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, and as far as you're concerned, George, do you think, I mean, because, you know, there has been a little bit of chat over the last few days just about people sort of saying that, you know, you get too addicted to it, there's too long being spent on it. Um, I mean, you're saying that, you, you know, you're looking at two, three, even four hours, maybe a day that you're playing this. Um, what do you think about that? What do you think about the people that are saying that? Do you think they're right or, or, or not? I do think they're right. But, like, it kind of, it's annoying to think that that's true because, like, it's like, well, why am I spending so much on this game? Like, it's not really anything that's going to help me in the future, is it? Um, I don't know, actually. It's interesting. I think there's a, a number of people that may or may not agree with that one. But, um, well, George, listen, thank you very much indeed. Thanks for explaining it to us as well. Yeah, thank uh, you, George. We're just, we're just aware there's a lot of people listening to this who probably have got Fortnite in their households at the moment. So it's interesting to hear. Uh, can we have a chat with your mum, Kate? Is that possible? Yeah. Thank you very much, George. Thank you, George. <laughs> you are right there, Hello. Kate? Hello, Kate. You OK? Hello. Slightly okay, yeah. Well, you're slightly okay. Well, that's I mean, slightly is better than nothing. Let's be honest. So um, there you are in Chamley Green, and you've got uh, there you are in Chamley Green, and you've got George, looking like he's you know a number of hours a day. He's saying he spends on this. How do you feel about that? Yeah, well, I'm slightly embarrassed it was on the radio, but anyway. Yeah, it's crept up. It's crept up, it would be true to say. Since half term, I've kind of lost my grip. <laughs> I can't yeah. gain it back. <laughs> he, George himself used the word addicted, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he did. I think because it's such a power, a power game, you know, it's kind of last man standing. Yeah. And once you're on this little island thing... Apparently, they just kill each other until there's one left, and that's your victory. It's a bit Hunger Games, mm. I guess. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, which are, which are films really, are out I've, I've, I've only glanced at it, and I, I haven't got a clue, but the, the scenery is really bright. It's really, it looks really inviting. Yeah. Lots mm. of different yeah. things happen. The whole atmosphere changes, and it's exciting. Mm. And I think that, you know, they do it with their friends, and they get really hyped up. Yeah, and I, I hear them shouting and screeching and... and Sort of going, oh yeah, be quiet, and mm. and I think that the time flies by and they don't realise it. Um, mm. Yeah, but it so I, it was an interesting phrase you just used, and I think there's a lot of parents that will um, uh, empathise on this. This whole sort of, you know, sort of losing your grip a little bit yeah. on stuff because it is <laughs> difficult, isn't it? Because you 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 want things to be ordered, you want obviously other things to be paid attention to, homework, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But at the same time, you also don't want to restrict as well. So how do you find that balance? I mean, obviously. You 
you're even putting it on a timeline that literally last couple of weeks since half term, you sort of feel it's yeah. slightly gone awry. Yeah, it has gone awry. I, I can be quite strict. I've got three children, one older boy and another younger girl. And it's hard sometimes to kind of restrict them when others are doing different things. And it's, you know, the whole juggling of parenting. And then when the homework is done and the sort of piano practice has been achieved and it's kind of like, well, I don't want to go out and do anything else. So I've got nothing else to do. I don't want to watch the telly. Yeah. I don't want to tidy my room. Why can't I play it? And they get more and more articulate in their arguments. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, I can hear that. He is um, articulate. Yeah. Do, you set yeah. lim do you set time limits then or...? Yeah, I do, I do. Um, and as I say, since half time it's slipped, poor old George, he's going to be thinking, why should I agree to do this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Uh, you're going to be big, dis big discussions in Shamley Green tonight. Listen, um, uh, Kate, bless you. Thank you. And also thank you, George, for coming. It's interesting to hear. It is a dilemma that so many families have, mm. of course, uh, right across our listenership, I'm sure. And there's a lot of people listening, uh, nodding ahead or disagreeing or agreeing or however it may be. Uh, but thank you yeah. and bless you for being the one that came on to talk about it. Oh, you're welcome. Nice to talk to you. Thanks a lot, thank Kate. You. Take care. Bye-bye.